start out this video with a warning. Uh, there's always a risk of uh, serious injury or even death when it comes to climbing. So keep that in mind. And always make sure you keep your equipment up to what it should be and everything like that. Make sure everything's rated for climbing equipment. Uh, today in my two tether system I'm going to uh, go around limbs. I've been working with it and I think this is about the best I can get it. I'm satisfied with it. Uh, you just about look around these woods and you have a hard time finding a tree just to uh, put, you know, something like this in with limbs. Where I hunt over half the trees is, they may lean a little bit, but they don't have limbs until they get 20 or 30 feet up in them. So. But there's a lot of questions about limbs. It's on there, and I wanted to, I wanted to deal with it because sometimes there are spots where, you know, if I buy a tree and it's got a limb or two in it, I can still use it. And I mushroom hunt out of this. And a lot of people might think that's funny. Uh, there's, there's what they call lion's mane. Uh, it's a mushroom, it'll be growing way up in a tree, and a lot of times there's limbs on it. In fact, a lot of times there'll be a broken off limb uh, where the lion's mane is growing. Uh, there's also pheasant back. But uh, today I'm going to show you, i work around this limb right here. Uh, it slows you down, but I really don't see why you couldn't be up a tree 20 feet, still in five minutes. easily done, I think. Uh, one of the things I do is this is my bridge, but this is a fairly long bridge, but it's more than a bridge. Uh, this is also uh, my uh, lineman rope to go around the tree. I'll show you how I'm using it. Uh, so it doubles same hook, but uh, I'll go ahead and show you. Now there's a tree right here. Normally, I would put my foot around the tree and hook it, but on a tree like this, I actually lean in uh, to maintain stability. I'd rather put my foot on the, around the tree, and I can as I go up it, but uh, starting out, I won't be able to do that. So I'll go ahead up this limb, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. a little bit different when you're putting your foot against something to push, mean a little bit of uh, uh, balance. And it's far easier when you can just hook your foot in because that takes all the work of trying to maintain balance out of it. And one of the things I've done and I like the straight trees better because I don't have to put these carabiners in there. Uh, you're looking at mechanical failure as, you know, you're adding that to the situation. You're not going to have mechanical failure if you're only using the loop. That's another reason to pick straight trees. But you can get these fairly high rated uh, carabiners. You want as high rated as you can possibly get. I like aluminum because steel weights down your tethers and they have a tendency to want to slide some on you until you get tension on them. With aluminum you don't have that problem. But I'll I figured I'd just point that out but I'll go ahead and, and uh, go up around this. Whenever I get up close to like that limb's right there. I've got up as close as I can get with this one. Now this one here I want to bring it up just below there. And then whenever I pull myself up, now I wouldn't even have to, uh, you can pull yourself up just with the tree. Or you grab here on the rope, either one of those spots. But once I've uh, got my foot loop up to here, I go up around the limb. 
I don't unhook the short side of my bridge. Let's see if I can get around here where you can see what I'm doing. This is the other side of my belt. And this is the short side of my bridge. I simply hook that in and then lock it in. Then I reach here, my Prusik line. And I'm secure to the tree. Now the reason I don't like to hook that because I'm still locked in to my bridge into my saddle on this line. I simply reach in here, unlock this, pull it up through my lanyard, and I go up about as whatever I can reach there. back down. Like I say, it takes a few minutes, it slows you down climbing, but it's not going to stop me from getting in a tree if I want a tree. And then as soon as I've done that, I put my foot back around the tree to stabilize myself. I reach over here and I unhook my lane over that side of my bridge. Now I never unhook my bridge. I reach here and I tighten my bridge back up. Now I'm back secure. Reach down here and lock this. make uh, carabiners that are auto lock. They would actually be better in this situation rather than twisting them. And you just go on up the tree like you was a climber. And whenever you come back down, Bring it back to about two feet from the limb on top tether. Like I said, an auto locking carabiner would be much quicker. You just twist and then lock. I look about where the limb's at, and I bring the rope about 16, anywhere from a foot to 16 inches away from it, just enough that you can take tension off that rope up there, uh, top rope, and I go ahead and run my lanyard back around and I take weight off my saddle but I never unhook my bridge for no reason I unhook your bridge and then I simply now I'm locked back in again see just to where I want it take the pressure off I 
don't like the, the carabiner snapping and popping around. Uh, feel like it, you know, gives up your position, making noise. I'm gonna put my leg back around the tree. I'm gonna reach over. Make sure my bridge is secured and my lanyards unhook. I tighten the bridge back up. I go ahead and set back down. Now, even if you was to fall, you're not going to fall no further than this. You don't have no metal or anything like that to bang into. Banging or bouncing off the tree uh, at a foot fall. A bruise would be more like the most injury you get from something like this. Uh, but like I say, where I hunt, uh, if you look around in these woods, uh, could you take the camera and go around through the woods there? If you look through the woods, there's enough straight trees that uh, I would never be climbing this tree in most of the woods that I hunt. I mean, it just too many straight trees. But if there is a crooked tree, you can get up in them. Uh, one of the main things with uh, any kind of climbing system is to practice with it. If I had a lot of trees like this, uh, I could get practice in and get a lot better. But I don't really have that many trees that, you know, I would have two limbs to go around and without a doubt I could be up there in five minutes. No doubt at all. Uh, and be 20 feet, over 20 feet off the ground. Uh, but that's how I work around limbs. Uh, and like I say, uh, practice is, is the main thing that if you use a climbing system of any kind, uh, practice is your best friend. You know. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, appreciate you watching.